I think I think that'll be fine. This will be our zombie. I've decided. I'm very indecisive all the time. Hey guys, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Just a few comments to read this time, guys. I think I might have went on a little too long at the beginning reading comments in the last episode. Sorry, I just want you guys to have your voices heard, okay? All right, first comment, guys. Fun fact, if you go to the achievement section and keep scrolling, you can find some neat Easter eggs. Now, I saw a reply to a comment. I'm not sure if it was this one or a similar one, but they said it maybe doesn't work on the Steam version. I just thought it was like a glitch or something. I was like, why is the game going down so far? Okay, there's a zombie worm, and there's this guy. He looks familiar. I think it's a reference to something for sure. <laughs> what else we got? Jewels from Bejeweled. Oh boy, what is, what is that? That's um, oh my God, what is that? That looks so familiar. I don't know, you guys tell me. Tell me down below what this is. Okay, we also have uh, a, a unicorn skeleton, very nice, and a couple of whatever the heck that is, orbs or something. Keeping it going, we got a pipe, okay. The, wow, very cool guys, a pipe. That is uh, some sort of ancient zombie thing. Maybe. Some very attractive looking dudes right here. Me and the boys. <laughs> oh man, this really goes down far, guys. I think we might be going all the way to China. Look at that, we got Chinese zombies over here. That guy's got a, got a takeout box on his head. That's racist. I don't know if it counts as racist, guys. You know China, it's known for its chopsticks and its Chinese takeout. Listen to this, guys. As someone who turns 40 this year, this series along with MSM are my faves. It's not often a mobile type feeling game makes me want to play it for so long, but these games I had played for a long time. While I probably won't uh, get back into playing them, it is a joy watching someone else play them for the first time. A 39 year old viewer, guys. I thought you guys stopped watching after you turn like 12 or something. Just kidding. I know I know there are at least some people in my audience who aren't children. I, mean, I make I make all ages videos at this point for the most part, guys, with with very few exceptions. At least my main series right now, Battle Cats, My Seeing Monsters, and uh, Plants vs. Zombies. I'm trying to make them without saying the bad words so that everyone can enjoy them. Because I don't really want to, you know, go dropping F-bombs for no reason. Okay, it's, it's 2021. I don't mind angry parents, guys. That's just fine with me, but I just, at this point, I just wanna have fun. Good, clean fun. Terraria is the exception, by the way, cause that game just makes me really angry. Now next up, guys, I wanna talk about the uh, money glitches in this game. Apparently there's a couple. This is the first one I'm gonna take a look at. Uh, you have to play the aquarium game mode and right before you finish the game, and when the trophy appears, you must quit out. Then you go back into the game mode and it will put you back where you left off. Now you can collect the trophy and then leave the game immediately again. Hmm, you can do this as long as you want. It'll speed up the process of getting every plant. Of course, if you got more money, you can get more plants. Well, why don't we give it a try then? Zomb Aquarium. And I, I didn't really do anything here. Didn't even feed him yet, but that's okay. You go ahead and poop out your son for me. Thank you very much. Have you checked out the Insane Aquarium series, guys? It's uh, still going on as of this week anyway. We'll see how this uh, latest video does. I did complete the game, so that might be all I do with it. I don't know. I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out. And then maybe I'll stop reminding you, okay? Because apparently you don't want to check it out. Okay, so quit the trophy and then quit, quit, quit the game. Quit the game. No. What? Well, that didn't work out so well, guys. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if that was my mistake. <laughs> it just, uh, oh well. Uh, there, there's another one that might work a little better. This one I'm actually super, super interested in, guys. You don't even need endless mode to grind coins. If I remember correctly, when there's only one zombie left, you can just remove your offensive plants and spam the zombie with tall nuts and pumpkins. And walnut first aid would help, but not necessary while your marigolds and magnet shrooms do their thing. Takes a lot less setup in exchange for you having to replant the nuts once in a while. I did actually see a video like this, guys, and it was kind of funny. Someone wanted to see if they could keep the first zombie of the level alive for the entire thing. Let's see if we can keep one zombie alive here. But before we do that, I have enough money for the golden magnet collects money for me. Now we can have like this crazy marigold setup or something. Let's give it a shot. We'll go to one four of the adventure. 
Crazy Dave's gonna give me some stuff. Crazy Dave, good choice here, because the tall nut, that's what I was gonna bring. A coffee bean, so that we can wake up the magnet shroom, and then gold magnet. Let's see if this will work. Pretty simple setup overall, but uh, these are pretty simple levels. I'll put sunflowers down for now, and we're gonna basically replace our sunflowers with marigolds along the way. We gotta double up on everything here, guys. I think we'll be okay if we do that. There is also probably an opportunity for me to put a tall nut somewhere else because I should have enough time to put another one out and then recharge it again, but I'm not completely sure. Now, I'm really bad at timing this, guys. I don't actually know when I should start getting ready to put another uh, tall nut down, but, but, but it's okay. I'm just gonna keep clicking. I don't even need that money. There you go. Just gonna, I'm gonna triple up at this point, I think. Now I'm gonna start putting marigolds here. I'm gonna start replacing all my sunflowers with marigolds. This is bad, guys. Well, uh, we can we can leave the thing there for now. I suppose the explodey boy. I really need like you know explosions here. Not good. Not good. Now there are two zombies eating the nut, guys. I have to do something about that. There we go. Replaced it. Oh boy. Okay. Um. This is no problem, because we'll do this, okay? Okay, not good, not good, not good. And you know what, I should have put these in the back anyway, because I could have just replaced them later. I need to do this, oh no! Oh crap, okay, you know what, it's fine. This is the last wave. I wish there was some way, well there is some way actually. We can do this. We can do that, okay? One of the zombies will die, and then we'll, we'll get rid of them again. We just want the one zombie. Here's our thing. We gotta wake him up and turn him gold. All right. Now he'll collect coins for me. The marigold recharge is an issue here. Let's see how this goes, huh? Let's see it in action. Can you not? There you go. I was gonna say, can you not do that, bro? Come on. Whoa. Can one magnet room get everything on the map? I don't know how far his reach is, but he's taking stuff from down here, I thought. So I guess this will actually freeze the zombie forever, guys. I got rid of the marigold and put a tall nut there because one tall nut goes away and he eats the other tall nut. And there you go, taking the money. And yep, now he's just eating the other one. No, I don't, we don't think we need this guy anymore. We don't need anything now except the, uh, the marigolds. And I'm not gonna do this all day, guys. It is a, it is an interesting strategy for sure, but in order for it to really work well, I need to fill the rest of this up with marigolds. And the recharge is just so slow on it. Seriously, the imitator would make this better, but the imitator is one of the most expensive uh, plants in the game, so. Hmm. Okay, now we get rid of that, and boom. But ow! There you go, guys. If this was Miss Myth, Myth, Busters, I would say that this myth has been confirmed. It is possible to do it. Okay, I'm gonna take a break from the adventure mode now, guys. I wanna play some more mini games. I wanna, I guess, give some stuff to my plants. They want a friggin' gramophone. What is your deal, guys? Why are you like this? You want music? <laughs> no, none of it is needed right now, guys, and I can't really afford a lot of it either. Here's what you guys said though. Instead of just gloom shrooms and garlic, you could fill the empty lanes where you funnel the zombies into with spike weed or its upgrade. And of course the upgrade is this thing right here, spike rocks. That would be a good idea that would add some extra damage. And also, hey Matt, a plant you should get in the future is the cob cannon. When planting it using two kernel pulps, every 30 seconds or so it generates a giant corn inside of it for free and acts like a cherry bomb. When it regenerates, you can click and hold and aim it wherever on the map, then let go of click to launch. That sounds really great, guys. It's $20,000. The imitator is $30,000. That's an expensive one. Definitely some stuff we can work on later, guys. I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to do that whole hold one zombie and just make a whole lot of money strat, and I'll just need to get the, uh, the first aid to help out with that. I mean, we could get it now, technically, but let's just, Let's just do some puzzles or something. Okay, this is uh, to the left, guys. I don't, oh, what? That's weird. Okay, so I have to hit the zombies in their booties. And that's right, I gotta make sure I don't end up doing what I did last time and letting things just, di what, well, what? What do you mean? Some of them are to the left and some of them aren't. This is getting weird, man. I don't want these guys to uh, get where they're going. 
I can't believe I might have failed this. Ugh! Disgusting! He's gonna get my house! Don't let that guy in my house! He's gonna eat all my Cheetos! Got in my house. Can you not? This is literally, I don't think this has ever happened before, has it? The zombies ate your brains! Matt Shea got his first game over. Let's go to zombie two. Eat all the brains to pass the level. Okay, so let's think about this real, real smart now. Think he's better off being here, perhaps. The screen door zombie did the trick, that was pretty great. I think another one here will be good. And then we'll get a whole bunch of sun now. So it's all good. There's the last brain, guys. Boom. Thank you. See, it's a thousand bucks. That's what I like to see. A bit much to pay someone to just put down a couple of zombies and win. It was really easy. Can I dig it? Let's go. What's that? Oh. Oh, it's getting, it's getting crazy, guys. I need a digger zombie now. We don't want this torch wood. So let's go ahead and just let him dig down and go around the other. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Oopsie daisies! <laughs> no, 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 no. Regular old zombie. Regular old zombie will at least be able to get through this one. Give me some more stuff here. Then I'll put a bucket zombie on the bottom like that. Okay. And he should be able to get all the way, maybe. Buckets and buckets are good. Buckets are, buckets are real strong, man. Um. Oh, they changed the, they changed the layout this time. They, I think they might have made it easier, guys. I don't know. How, how good can this guy do? He just needs to get rid of the torch wood. Probably not too too much of an issue, to be honest. This guy can dig. Oh, of course not. This guy can dig. I hit the thing again, man. When it's made of cardboard, you don't expect it to blow up. All right, now this guy, this guy will do the trick. I like how he gets all confused afterwards. He's like, where the heck am I? It's so cute. They're just like kind of walking up like, hey, buddy, how you doing? Oh, good. Yeah, just uh, heading out. Yep, just he heading in. Yep. And there's another thousand bucks, guys. We are doing it. Getting some money. Totally nuts. Okay, now we got a ladder zombie. We want to go over the nuts, right? So he can give me some sun now real quick. Okay. And he might even be able to just go all the way with that. That'd be pretty cool. You just keep putting ladders there. The next, the easiest one after that is this one over here on top. Because if this guy managed to do what he did, then this other guy should be able to do the same thing. They should probably kill him, but the bucket, the bucket will do the trick. And another bucket for this one here, because that guy just lost his head. And another bucket here, because, you know, just make sure. And the buckets, they're pretty good at making sure. Okay. There's another one. Another thousand bucks, guys. These are so fast. You can get through these like bam, bam, bam. I don't know what this portal combat's about, guys. The heck is portal combat? Oh, like mortal combat, but with portals. But I don't know what that is. Oh, my. The zombies are coming. Wait, do, where do they... I don't understand. I don't I don't know what you're telling me. Should I shoot? Shoot shoot here. Okay. Okay. Does that mean that the zombie is going somewhere else or I don't I'm so confused right now guys. They didn't tell me how this worked. Wait, where are you going? There. Okay. I mean, sure. I wish I didn't waste my repeater over here like that, but that's okay. Sending with this guy. Useless. Here, have some torch wood. Portal relocating? What do you mean, portal relocating? I would have got rid of my useless zombies if that was the case. Oh, what? Oh, this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So this portal is bringing this down here. Don't like. Don't like. Don't, don't come over here, guys. Don't do it. I probably should have put something else there, guys. That wasn't that because because this is gonna be he's gonna go right through. He's gonna be right here. Oh, okay. We'll replace it with that. There we go. Wait, how is? Oh, we're shooting through there. Well, that's good. Don't take that. What are you doing? No, no. Oh, okay. You you you're gonna hit the thing. There. Yep. Great. Poor relocating. Hurry. Don't don't do the. Oh. Okay, it's all over. Just go, just, just help yourself to some lemonade from the fridge. I'm eating my brains twice in one day. Now I've got stuff in front of all of them, except for this one. Let's just stop that. There we go. And I got a plan for my garden. This guy will die eventually. Let's replace that with a repeater. 
And let's replace this with a repeater. And then let's do this. And now we just feed this guy until he dies. Here you go, buddy. Thank you. Bobsled Bonanza. That's one of the ones they told me was going to be difficult. I won't try it today, guys. I want to refine my strat, okay? Let me just... Forget. Hold on. What are you doing over there? Get in, get in the middle. Join the club. We can now get... Walnut first aid, which isn't like a thing you bring with you. It's just a thing. It's just a thing that happens, and that's great. I'll probably buy some more of these with the rest of the money in between episodes, because I'll probably, you know, maybe try and do some stuff in between. Okay? I think other than that, we should be good. Now, is this going to be the same, or is it going to randomize again? I think it's probably already... It's probably going to do what it was showing last time. Yeah, okay. Not bad, honestly. I wanted I wanted to have the pumpkin this time, guys. But actually, with the walnut first aid, I don't need the pumpkin. So let's get an emergency instead. No, we need sun! Okay. I think, I think that'll be fine. This will be our zombie. I've decided. I'm very indecisive all the time. Yeah, you know what? This isn't gonna work. I gotta restart. Darn it! I don't like Crazy Dave's picks here. I mean, the, the tall nut is fine, but these are like really bad for trying to like complete the level while also making money so i'm gonna get through this one and i'm gonna i'm gonna do a strat i want to show you guys like the best case scenario once you get it all figured out i'm gonna go do it and then i'll show you all right guys so uh this time for one seven crazy dave gave me sunflower and tall nut which are two things that i wanted and also kernel pulse which aren't great but uh i'll take them no biggie and i'm trying to just have tall nuts in the front. I can only place one in between when this guy eats the one that he's eating over here. So I'm uh, just trying to survive the rest of this, which I, th I think I can do. It shouldn't be a huge deal. I can use, uh, you know, whatever I want to distract the jumpy boys. Um, and I also have some emergency. Well, I have one emergency. I have an emergency squash here. I don't really know where to put the stuff at this point. I don't think it really matters too much. But this tall nut has to be replaced pretty much as soon as it comes back. Oh, thank you. That was nice of you. Now, I am putting one magnet room in the very middle. I'm putting a gold magnet on it. I assume that'll do something. I assume, I assume it will pull everything in from all areas on the uh on the level but i don't actually know guys i guess we'll need to keep like one sunflower perhaps guys so we can afford the tall nut but then again sun comes out of the sky as well can you believe it <laughs> i just need to continue doing the same process until the whole thing is filled up it will take a little while what time is it okay it is currently 3 46 so let's see how long it takes to fill it up. As you can see, I have not filled the entire lawn with marigolds because I have some bad news. You can probably already tell nothing is happening right now. Where's all the money, Mary? Turns out, guys, if there's um, if there's one zombie left, they'll stop giving money. You can put a new marigold out and you wait and she'll pop out some money, which is cool. Thanks a lot, Mary. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's 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 she's just gonna give the one. I think maybe two. Turns out that uh, the game has a built-in system to stop you from taking advantage of this, of of holding on to a zombie. So I tried, guys, and I guess at this point we can actually say that this myth has been busted. Wow. So if you want to do this, you do have to do the infinite levels, the uh, the endless levels. I haven't even um haven't even gotten to the actual endless level yet. I think there might be multiple. Not really sure, guys. I don't know. I was just trying this out. I was told that yeah, you don't even you don't even get that one. Just trying it out, guys. But it turns out they'll produce for a little bit and then they stop. And all these marigolds are just chilling, doing nothing. You guys make me sick. I'm gonna let this guy finish his nut. And he's gonna get hit by a lawnmower. Mm. Thanks. Yay. So that won't be a way to farm money, guys. I will have to use like an endless mode, as I said. There's obviously, you know, oh, hang on a second, uh, survival. There are more, and, uh, and I'll have to do some, and I'll have to use that to get money instead. We got a little bit of money now, though. We got over $10,000. It might be a good time to, uh, 
I don't know, get the spike rocks or maybe wait until we can get the cob cannon because the cob cannon sounds pretty great. Or I could get the gramophone, phone phonograph. Is it? Is that the same thing? All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Plants vs. Zombies. Please hit that like button, okay? I just worked really hard trying to get this strategy working and then I was like, wait a minute, it's not even working. I just wasted my time. I wasted my time for you. So why don't you waste your time hitting that like button? Psych, it's not a waste of time. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.